A projectile launched horizontally is a half of this. Do you see it? Yeah. Maybe jumping off a cliff and the range will be half. way there. So let's calculate the range. Which equation do you think you're going to use to calculate the range? X minus X equals what? V zero times time. V zero X times time. Yeah. Right? What do we already know? Let's let's replace this with with R for range. Okay? Right. This becomes R for range. So that means we, we want the entire time. How much time it takes to, to travel the entire range? It's gonna take what? Two minutes. Two T. Is that is that true? Yes. yes. If it takes T to go up, it's gonna take two T to go from there to there. Okay? So the range for the range is gonna be V zero X times two T. Are you with me so far? Okay, now we know V zero X equals V zero cosine theta, right? Hmm? Yes. So R is equal to V zero cosine theta times. I'm going to put a two right here. Where should I put the two? Times T. So we need some expression for t, right? Remember that one? We're going to use that to calculate t. And at the top, that's 0. So this is v0 y over g equals t. But if we're going to stick to sines and cosines, this is going to be v0 sine theta over g. So that's your t. That's your expression for the time. If you know the angle, and you know g, and you know the initial velocity, you can calculate the time it takes to go to its maximum height. That's it right there. OK, so now I'm going to take this and put it right there. <laughs> v0 <laughs> sine theta <laughs> over g. What is that? What is that going to give me? Um, sine of two, si oh, wow. the cosine and the sine, the, the cosine of theta and sine theta. You can use that rule. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You jumped in my face. I was long. Are you guys with me so far? No. Wait. Uh, where did I lose you? Yeah. I copied everything you written. You did I lose you right here? Yeah. I start out with this. This is your first equation for the for the vertical motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to calculate the time it takes to go from there to up here. T. Okay? But we know that at the top, this is zero, right? Yeah. So if this is zero, this right here is V zero Y. Remember what V zero Y is? V zero sine theta. You remember that? So that's what I did. I just substituted that here for V zero Y and divided by G and I got T. You see it now? Huh? Yeah. So that's your expression for the time. Now I'm going to take this time and I'm going to substitute it here. I'm going to take all of this for the time and substitute it here. And this is what I get. So to simplify this, to simplify this, this is going to give me V0 times V0 is what? So let's write it over here. R is equal to V0 squared. And then I'm going to have 2 cosine theta sine theta over G. Now, those of you who have been paying attention in your trigonometry class, what is 2 cosine theta sine theta? 2 sine theta. What is this right here? They combine it on one side. It becomes sine two theta. That's what all of that is. So instead of writing that, you can simply write V zero square sine two theta over 